know. <laughs> Can people see me playing with my hair in the video? Dang it. Um, hi, everyone. I'm going to be working on this commission. Um, I'm back, so Oakley did good. Um, I don't know if you saw my Instagram story, but uh, he's got his cone and um, he's doing okay. He's having trouble like laying down because um, of the cone. He'll just kind of sit and like put his face on the ground uh, or he'll try to. I guess it's too heavy, but poor thing, we're trying to help him, but yeah, he's okay. I had to take it off when he went outside because he kept like hitting it on the ground, but he's in the other room laying down. All right, so I'm going to get back to this, um, and I don't know what I want to do now, hold on, let's see. Um, I think I'm going to work on her hair a little bit. Um, how did I put my screen, or my face in the screen on the, um, screen, I guess? I, uh, I use OBS, which is a, um, broadcasting software, I guess. Um, but you can, like, make of a template like um, and save it so I like it a lot it's nice to use um, let's see <laughs> oh yeah you're gonna do my draws in your style Actually, I think I'm going to alpha lock this so I can just color her hair. Um, Madeline Petch, is that the girl from Riverdale? Because I can totally see it with the hair and the red lipstick. guys for joining the stream. How did I learn to draw? Um, mostly from just looking for tutorials on the internet and stuff. Just kind of like playing around with it uh, my whole life and then deciding like that's what I wanted to do. So I had to seek out the information. Like I learned to draw uh, digitally um, from the internet since uh, my uh, university did not um, have like digital art classes. They had like graphic design, but yeah. Just by going out and finding the information and practicing a lot. Do I stream on Twitch? I used to, but I would never get anybody to come watch my stream. <laughs> so I moved to YouTube since I have my videos on YouTube now. I need to look through all of the new Draw This In Your Styles that have been done for my, uh, my challenge. I haven't had a chance to look at everything yet been running around like today taking Oakley and then trying to just go to the grocery store which was rough a lot of stuff is out I know I talked about it on my stream that I did earlier um, but you yeah. know a lot of stuff is pretty scarce right now but now I'm back home and um, I don't need to go out anymore for a while, so. Um, 
<laughs> Hat. So let's see. How did I find my art style? Um, I need to make a video about this. I'm trying to like get my thoughts together on it. I don't want to just kind of ramble um, about it, but um, mainly I looked at like like other artists that I liked and um, I made a list of like why do I like their art and how do I want to kind of like incorporate some of those things into my work like um I don't know like I really like the way like Loish like blends her paintings uh, so I looked at her work a lot, but like as you can see like with my art style like it doesn't look like Loish's work So I just took an aspect of her work that I liked and studied that and then um, kind of like Made it my own kind of thing um, But yeah, like I would focus on a few artists that you like and maybe try to study their work but you don't want to just stick to one artist. You want to, um, you want to have a variety, so you don't like look too similar to somebody else's uh, style. So it doesn't look like you're like copying somebody's style, because so you want to make it your own. Um, I'm drinking soda because I have a headache, and I'm I've been trying to get rid of it, like since this afternoon when I streamed earlier and sometimes caffeine helps but it's like ugh, one of those like tension headaches I get those from time to time I don't really know why but yeah sometimes it's rough um let's see I'm going to post my own draw this in your style, but I'm worried no one will enter. Um, well, like, I don't know if you've watched the, um, the video I posted about, um, growing your Instagram. Uh, like, the second part, I mentioned something about, uh, like, focusing on things that you can control, and I think that, like, really applies here, too, because you don't know, like, you know, how many people are going to do it. Like you never know um, so if you just focus on making like a piece that you're really proud of that you like and putting it out there and saying like hey if you want to draw this you can like um, like I think that's the way to go about it instead of saying like well I don't even want to post this because I don't know if anybody's gonna do it but like you can't control if people do it or not um, so yeah just focus on, like, making it something that you're proud of. Maybe try, like, a new technique or something. Like, try to, try to learn something when you, um, when you're making it. I need to add a little bit more red in her hair rather than orange. Um, let's see. Um, what is your setup for drawing digitally? Right now, um, I'm using my iPad. Um, and I have this, oh, I have this little stand that I, uh, I got with my current tablet that I use with my computer, uh, which is the XP Pen, um, Artist Pro. 12 or 12 pro I always get that confused um, um, let's see I can't draw like I want but I'm taking a chance at digital art I'm self-taught and that's how I came across your page well hello um, I really like working digitally. I, um, I started doing it when I was 14. 
Um, so I guess I was in middle school, but, um, and I just kind of like played around with it. I saw other people like online, um, like using digital and I was like so amazed. I was like, how do they do that? That's like super clean looking and like really nice. Um, so I got a tablet and started working that way. I would always take like my old, like, well, I guess they weren't old at the time, but my, uh, my drawings that I did, um, I colored them with colored pencil and I would keep them like on computer paper and I would put them in a folder and I'd take them to school every day. Um, so yeah. <laughs> but I would like color those digitally. Alright, I guess I would like completely make new lines and then paint them digitally. They didn't look very good. The lines were like super shaky and stuff. Um, um, how much money do you usually make as a freelance artist? That like varies a whole lot. It depends on what you do. Um, and I think like a really important thing, um, to think about like when you're doing freelance is, um, you need to have a lot of income streams so you can't just have like one or you shouldn't because if that one like stops coming in then you're in trouble um so yeah you just have to have like a variety of things that you're doing so it's a lot to manage Would you recommend starting on uh, to draw on paper or starting digitally? Um, I think starting on paper. I mean, that's how I did it. I guess you don't have to, but kind of like learning um, without all the like fancy tools of digital. I feel like that uh, that's beneficial and like getting a strong drawing foundation um, because I guess in digital a lot of the times like I've definitely been guilty of this but like um you know you've got all these things to make it like so colorful and like so nice looking but you don't focus on the drawing that much and then it's like it doesn't have good bones and then you just move on from like a drawing that's not very strong and then you start painting and then it's like I don't know it doesn't turn out uh, as great as it could if you had a strong, a stronger drawing underneath the painting. Um, thank you. I'm glad you like my videos. I never thought I would do anything with like YouTube when I first started, I mean, I tried to, uh, get better at talking to people and get more comfortable, but, um, now I, like, I make videos, like, at least once a month, um, and, uh, I'm a lot more comfortable with making them now than I was. How did you get into making stickers? Um, actually, next month I'm posting a video about making stickers, uh, so I'll go into detail about that, um, like exactly how to make stickers and everything. Uh, but I use like sticker paper from Amazon um, and then a Cricut to cut them out. Um, but you don't have to have a Cricut. Um, it makes things easier, uh, but like it's not completely necessary.
Um, I want to draw more digital. What is something in a lower price range you would suggest getting to draw with? Um, they have a whole bunch of tablets like on Amazon. Um, I'm actually going to do a tablet review um, next week for, um, it's called Picasso Tab. So we'll see how that is. Um, but I know XP Pen has a lot of like budget friendly tablets. Um, if you like search just like a graphics tablet on um, Amazon, like a bunch of different ones will pop up, like um, some fairly cheap ones too, actually. Um, I forgot the other brand. I don't know, you just have to look at that. Um, but like I said, I'm doing a review soon for another tablet, and then I have a couple of reviews on my channel right now. Uh, one's for a uh, Huion tablet, and the other one's XP Pen. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, what canvas size do you start out with? Um, so this one is, so it is a, um, an eight by 10 and then I have my DPI set at 400. I usually do at least 300 for a digital um, piece, but um, I just have it set like a lot higher, but that also like will limit your like layers. So you can't have as many, so that uh, that's kind of annoying um, for Procreate, but um, for like Photoshop, you don't have a limit as far as I know. I've never reached the limit, but uh, yeah. But you can always like, what I do, if I run out, I will go ahead and go to the gallery and then copy the document and then like collapse the layers. Um, so uh, that I can like continue working and have like less layers um, getting in the way. And I can like go ahead and continue without it uh, saying like you can't add anymore. So, um, yeah. Um, Uh, yeah, the tablets without the display are definitely cheaper. Um, that's what I used for a really long time. I used a uh, Wacom Bamboo Fun? I don't know. It was, I think the tablet was $100 and it came with uh, Photoshop like elements. And I used that for a really, really long time. And then in, so hold on, 2015 I got uh, the Wacom Intuos Pro Medium, so, yeah, so I used the bamboo longer than I used the, than I have used the other one. Um, I'm reading some comments. Um, do you still color your art with gray values before adding color? I've done that before. Um, it just depends on like what I'm doing. Like for a portrait like this, I I like to um, just like go ahead and start the coloring because I kind of like generally know uh, which colors I'm picking since I have a photo to kind of reference and then go from there. I don't 
color pick off the photo just because um, it'll usually like it'll get too muddy it's not as bright and colorful as uh, the colors that I would pick so um, yeah um, will you add how to sell your stickers also oh that's a good idea um, for that for the video next um, I think I'm gonna start painting over on top um, how do you know what DPI and canvas size to choose um, I always do at least 300 DPI just because that's um, it's good for printing even if you don't plan on printing it it'll be like better quality if you do it that way Um, and then as far as like the size, I don't know, it just kind of depends. Like Instagram likes squares and it does not like landscapes at all. So I hardly ever do landscapes and if I do, when I post them, uh, I will usually crop them and then um, have like where you like swipe it and then it's the full one it just doesn't look good like in a preview it usually crops it like poorly anyways so yeah I, I tend to do like 8 by 10 or like um, 14 by 10 and I, like if I do 14 by 10 it's probably because it's uh, going to be like a print for Patreon because I'll do like five by seven ones for like the monthly print. So let me just see what music this is. Oh, this is the playlist I was gonna pick anyways. Okay. The other one is over. I really like this one. This is the Zelda music with like rain in the background. It's on um Shadow at Noon, that's the channel. This is my favorite part of painting. Like just going over top of it and like cleaning everything up. How old am I? I look so young. Well, thank you. I am 26, turning 27 this year. So, yep. How old do I look? A lot of people say 19. <laughs> crafts with Crashly. Uh, you're doing a diamond painting. That's awesome. So you're doing the galaxy one. Oh, awesome. I started working on one of those. Uh, it was the uh, wishes one that I have on there. Uh, and um, I haven't finished it but it's, it's a big canvas and it takes a while, but it was really relaxing working on it. So you like, for those of you who don't know, um, like a diamond painting is like almost like a color by number thing and you get like a canvas um, and it's got like little uh, spaces on it for like rhinestones and you like pop them on there. Uh, but like the, the canvas is sticky, so it's got uh, adhesive and it will pick up the little rhinestones and you'll have like a sparkly painting when you're done but I have like a few of my like artworks on the diamond art club site so 
so if you want to do a diamond diamond painting of one of my drawings you can i've got like some mermaids on there and um what else i've got one of the the wishes one is the girl in the field with the uh, purple hair she's got like a backpack she's hiking um and there's like dandelions like little puffs like floating so yeah um uh well for a college an art college like degree for freelancing um so when you're picking like a college I guess the thing that you want to think about isn't really the degree you want to think about like am I learning from this like that's the most important part is your knowledge because um I mean I haven't had anything where anybody's asked me like do you have a degree it's like I do have a degree I have a degree in fine arts and like drawing but it's what really matters for an artist is your portfolio not really like where you went to school if you can do the work then like, you'll do fine um, 21 and 18 so those are good not 26 I don't feel like I'm 26. For your draws and your style, can you draw both? Yeah, you can if you want to. If you feel like it. You could even draw them together if you want to. I had a few people um, say they were going to draw them both in the same picture so I think that sounds fun but you don't have to so. um, can I draw an earring uh, I don't think she has her ears pierced I'll look at her photos. No, she doesn't have earrings in any of her pictures. This is a commission, by the way. Um, so. Oh! My dad's texting me. He's asking how Oakley is. Oakley's sitting on the couch. Um, what was I talking about? Earrings? Yeah. Will you try to do mermaid this year? Your witches and mer mermaids are some of my top favorites thank you um we'll have to see about mermaid i um i did mostly all of it last year i know i made a prompt list um and stuff and um i think i spent too much time on most of them and i burnt myself out so um i think i would have to plan ahead better and like do them um like ahead of time so i don't um i don't work myself too hard because i had like burnout after that i like didn't want to draw like at all so we'll have to see i'd like to i know everybody really likes mermaid and it was really cool like doing the prompts list and seeing everybody else's ideas for the prompts. I had some like super creative ones in there. Um, what do you say your photo photos as on Procreate before posting them to Instagram? Um, I do a JPEG. Um, a PNG is a um like it doesn't have a background to it like you if you save it as a png without like so if you went here and did this you see the little like grid back there that means there's no background so this would be just like almost like a sticker image 
if you saved it as a PNG like that. Um, so, um, did you ever have an issue of not knowing what type of art you wanted to create? Um, I always knew that I wanted to do like cartoons and stuff because that's what I've always liked but I know like in high school and college that's not really like an option for doing homework uh, because you have to learn your foundations some way uh, so you can't draw cartoons all the time um, but yeah I've always known I wanted to do cartoons but you know the specific art style that I wanted to go for like it was always a struggle So in like two weeks, I think, uh, not this weekend, but the next weekend, I'm going to do like a live stream um, where it's kind of like a draw with me. So um, we're going to be like cleaning up an illustration, kind of like what I'm doing right now. And I'll be like walking you through how to do it. Um, so it's my first time trying something like that. but. Uh, I think it's going to be cool, um, we'll see how it goes, but I will have like the Photoshop file on Patreon for um, my patrons to download, and uh, I'll also have like a tutorial on there as well, like beforehand, so you can kind of like understand it, or kind of like read the tutorial before the live stream, and then like do it with me. So I think it'll be cool. I'm excited. I need to draw the whatever I'm going to draw for it still. Um, I haven't decided what the subject's going to be, but I don't know. And it's also important to flip the canvas because um, you want to make sure that you are seeing things clearly. Like I see right here that I have um, made her eyes like crooked. So um, like this one is like pointing down that way and then this corner is kind of like this one's like that, so I need to probably angle the other one in more. And also, like, the shape of the eyelid is a little bit different. So I need to take a look at my reference and see what I need to do to fix that. I also... I'm going to bring this down a little bit. It's important to do your cleanup on another layer so you can go back and compare like, is this what I want to do? Is this what I want it to look like? Is, does it still capture that same like essence that the um, sketch had? Um, like I feel like I changed the shape of her nose so I can just go and erase that and I can take a, another look at it. Um, let's see. Hi 
how do you get into conventions? Um, I actually, um, I guess you just apply, but all the ones that I've applied for have been full. So, um, my friend Taylor Steary on Instagram, she, um, actually, uh, shared her table with me at the only convention I've done so far. And, uh, we were gonna share a table at Lexington Comic Con, but it got postponed. So, that'll be in May. Um, so yeah. Ah, that's, her eye is looking a lot different. Let's see if I can fix that. Um, do I still practice the fundamentals? Absolutely. Um, so, um, I have been taking, like, schoolism classes to, like, help with, um, character design fundam fundamentals, and they've, it's been super, super helpful. Like, it's gotten me out of, like, a rut that I felt like I'd been in for months. And, um, I feel like my drawings... I've gotten less stiff since then, um, so yeah, I'm very happy with uh, those classes and um, it's always important to be able to like take a look at your art and see like, okay, what do I want to work on, what do I want to improve. Um, so instead of like, I know it's, it can be easy to be like, well, man, I can't do this. Like it sucks. But, um, if you have an attitude, like I have this that I want to work on and I'm, I know I'm always growing and I'm always going to need to, um, improve on something, then that will definitely help you, um, with, um, learning more without being like negative about it. Let's see. So at this point, I think what I'm gonna do, uh, since I, I'm looking at my reference, which I know you guys can't see right now, but um, there's a lot of things that I feel like I need to move around. So what I'm gonna do is, um, so if you have a layer selected and you swipe to the right on those layers, you can group them together and then I'm going to um, duplicate this group so I don't lose the layers um, and then flatten it so now it's all together and I can um, take a look at my reference and then li liquefy anything that I think I need to scoot around a little bit. And they're usually just like subtle changes uh, that I notice, like where the, the corners of the eyes are um, and how much like the lower lid is covering up the eye. And with liquify on here, you can go and adjust it so you can see like how different it looks. I always have to tilt my head <laughs> to try to like see it. Uh, let's see. And then I'm going to flip it, get a different perspective on it. But I feel like I still need to like move this one up a little bit. Back. Um, let's see. 
Oh yeah, Steven Silver has courses on um, schoolism. So I'm, I'm planning on taking uh, one of those. But I need to find the time to do it. Got commissions to work on. Um, and then Animal Crossing is on Friday, so I will be playing that a lot. I've been waiting on that for years and years and years. So I think I'm going to take a break and play Animal Crossing. <laughs> Have I done an art show? Um, I had to do an art show for college. Um, so that was in 2017 when I did that. But um, like convention wise, I did the one in um, GalaxyCon Louisville in um, 2019, like in November. That was cool. But uh, yeah, Animal Crossing is going to consume my life. It's going to be um, making me busy. <laughs> and I mean, I guess we're not leaving the house, so perfect timing. What color are the eyes in the reference? Um, they are, uh, they're blue. They're a bright blue. So I, um, actually moved the, like, iris because I need to erase these. I'm just trying to make sure, like, the shape is good, um, and, like, the size and everything before I add that in because it was a little crooked. So Yeah, so it's more of like a I don't like to make it, you know, like this is like not a natural eye color tend to, like, if it's, um, their blue eyes, I kind of, like, shift it more to the gray side, and then, like, see? Because, like, up against the, uh, black, it looks more blue. But I need to work on this. the color that I picked. I don't know why it does this sometimes. It like doesn't pick up the whole color. Um, or like it picks up weird shapes when I'm doing this, see? I don't know. Maybe I should use a different brush. Nope, still doing it, okay. Hmm.
is Animal Crossing? You don't want to get me started. <laughs> Animal Crossing is a game. It's a Nintendo game. It's uh, the new one comes out on the Switch um, on Friday. But basically, you're a person who moves into a town full of animals and you get your own house and you're in debt to a raccoon. Um, and you catch bugs, you catch fish, you just kind of like live your life on this island. Uh, well, in the new game, it's an island, but in this town or whatever. And you um, you get to customize a lot of stuff, um, like your house and like the whole island in the new game. You can like change it um, however you want, pretty much. And uh, it's like in real time. So like in the game, like for me, it would be like six o'clock, like today. Um, so the, the seasons change and, um, like there's holidays and stuff, but yeah, the first one came out when I was 11 on the GameCube and I loved it. Um, it was my life. I would draw Animal Crossing villagers all the time. Um. Last of Us 2, oh my gosh, Last of Us was so good. Um, so I'm really excited for the second one, even though I'm very scared. I was terrified to play the first one, so I kind of like watched it the first playthrough. Um, I watched my boyfriend play it, and uh, then I played it on like a higher difficulty so I could get trophies. But it was still scary. <laughs> the clickers are so scary. But I can only imagine how scary this one will be compared to the first one. Seems uh, even more gritty, but it's a very good game. Um, second one comes out in May, right? It was supposed to be February. They pushed it back, but it's okay. They'll be here eventually. I love this music so much. Zora's Domain. I could listen to this playlist all day. It's one of my favorite ones. Plus Animal Crossing Rain one. That I found. So good. Um, let's see. How long do you usually take on your artwork? Um, it really depends. Uh, let's see how long I've been on this one. Let's see. How do I find that? Is it this six? And two hours and 27 minutes on this one so far. Um, I would say normally like a portrait takes me about two hours. But I've been uh, talking and doing this on the stream. So it's going to take me a little bit longer than it normally would. Just because I'm reading the chat and just... Uh, doing whatever. Um, would you ever do a video on color? Yeah, I definitely could do that. Um, I think that would be a good like draw with me live stream thing. Um, so maybe we can do that like the next time we have the draw with me live stream like other than the one that's coming up because um, I have a lot to say on color and it's it would be a lot for just like one YouTube video. So, um, and it would be uh, a good video to kind of like talk you through it as you are um, like drawing as well. Uh, just because of like color, it's like a lot of experimenting um, for me at least to see like what, what color works the best. Um, but uh, using like uh, saturation and value is like, or like learning how to use those to your advantage 
instead of just like randomly picking or like color picking from like like doing what I'm doing right now and like holding my finger on it to where it pulls up the color. Um, I mean that's good to do now like when I have my colors laid out but uh, it's not good to do for um, if you're like drawing from a photo like I wouldn't color pick from the photo because um, the colors aren't going to be uh, like I don't know they're not going to be as saturated as I want them to be I mean it would be a little bit different maybe if I was doing like a photo study where I was trying to get it exactly right but even so it would be best for me to practice not color picking and like choosing the colors on my own because that'll help me do like stuff like this where I am picking the colors because like in real life the colors aren't this saturated um, what program am I using? I'm using Procreate this is on the iPad so this is like exactly what my screen looks like right now like all the you know um, little buttons and stuff at the top so you're seeing like the entire process behind it um, oh so on, on statistics on Instagram uh, impressions I think that's like how many people like saw it but they didn't interact with it I think I don't know what the difference is between reach and impressions. I should know these things. I always have to like look it up. I think on Instagram, if you like click on it or like hover over it, it tells you the difference between them. Hi, Will. I'm glad you could pop in for a minute. I know it's like a late stream for you. Um, I need to do one earlier in the day, but I, I didn't start working until later um, since Oakley had to go to the vet and stuff. So um, maybe tomorrow um, I can get on earlier. We'll see. I have a lot of stuff to get done. So maybe I can work on one for like an hour or something. I do have a cute puppy one that I'm working on. It's for my cousin. Um, she commissioned me, but her uh, her puppy's a Great Dane, and she's really pretty. Um, I'm new to Procreate, but for the eye problem, I would select tool and select the eye direction tool, then adjust the eye. Yeah, I mean, I've done that before. It just depends on how, like, off the eye looks for me. Um, if the eye is, like, completely in a different position, then I will do it that way. But sometimes Liquify can um, easily just, like, do a quick fix if everything's kind of like merged together. Reach is the number of unique items or times a person saw your post. Okay, that makes sense. Her eyelids. So the top lid, it's looking like this one isn't curved down enough. Impressions, 
is the total number of people who saw it. Okay, that is very helpful. Thank you. We always want to keep like comparing like what you added. I don't know. I feel like I need to like her, the the shape of her eye has kind of changed from what I had originally. I think that would help if I like really pulled this lid down to make it look like her more. Uh, let's see. Sometimes like if it doesn't look right, it's okay to get messy again. Like, I know I'm trying to clean this up, but sometimes that, that helps um, to try to work something out and then go back on top of it and uh, clean it up again. But, I don't know. Because I'm looking here and up here, there's like more um, like lid, or like lash line, I guess, so I want to get that to be, uh, similar, get similar shapes, mm, not quite, come on, undo, there we go, uh, let's come back here, and a little bit, I'll probably like go back like later and mess with the eyes, but I think I want to maybe step back a little bit from them instead of like overworking, because uh, sometimes that helps too. Like if you're working on them for too long, then you might notice something later that you didn't. Because like right now, I see that since I put like those little like um, white dots for the lighting. Like, since I moved them up, she doesn't look like she's looking in the same direction. It looks a little bit different. But, I can go back and change it later. Um, I think I'm gonna paint her nose, or start painting her nose, and maybe her mouth. something. Um, uh, what is unique? Like the, like different people. Instead of, I think one of them counts the same people looking at your post. Maybe? I don't know. Total number of people who saw. I'm not really sure. It's so confusing. I don't know why they need all of the stats like that because it doesn't make a difference to me. Like, you, um, impressions and reach, I don't really know. Um, oh, that's cool. Um, on Instagram, I follow a few decorating room accounts so I can get inspiration from certain objects and color schemes. That's a good idea. I do that on Pinterest. Um, I just, like, I'll search color scheme. And I'll find a lot of cool stuff on there. Like, even the photos can be inspiration that go with the color scheme. So...
says, working from home get old. Yes, sometimes. Um, it would be nice to work with people again um, at some point. Like, that's the goal, to work in a studio or something. Um, I mean, I do, I do like working at home. I get to be with my dogs and um, be comfortable at home. It saves on gas and stuff, but uh, it does get a little lonely sometimes. Um, but, you know, developing a routine definitely helps. Um, I've always been struggling with that off and on, like sometimes fall out of my routine or it stops working um, but I have found lately like I've been watching a lot of like productivity videos and listening to podcasts and stuff um, but I found that making like a little list on a piece of paper of like the, your work time like every 30 minutes you like have little time slots and then write down like what you did during that time I mean it could be every hour but I feel like every 30 minutes helps for me because sometimes I find myself um, wasting time doing stuff that doesn't matter as much and it helps me see like oh well I took way too long to make that Instagram story post or write my post or whatever I shouldn't have taken that long like I could be doing something else that would um, be a lot more productive and um, Another thing that I recently started doing that helped was, uh, you know, I make lists in my planner about, you know, I gotta get this done or whatever, but I heard that if you make, like, your list of main things to do, like, keep it to, like, three things just about that you have to get done, and, well, I guess, like, you're supposed to have the, the first one is something you have to get done, like, you would feel a lot better if you did get it done and um, the other ones are like you would feel even better if you got those done but then you also have an additional list that is your low energy tasks so I have a longer list of things where it's like I don't have to get them done today like there are things that I need to do like um, I don't know like if I have like one Etsy order I can package that order when I feel a little bit tired or if I'm not like, oh, my screen just went like dull. Hold on. I don't know why I did that. It's weird. Like it's not as bright for me. I guess it's different for you guys, but uh, yeah, that's weird. Uh, anyways, yeah, so if I had like, if I wasn't like really feeling like, super energized and productive I could just do one of these like other tasks that would uh, I would still be doing something that's like something I needed to do but it doesn't take as much of my energy and it's just kind of like eh, it's okay like at least I'm doing something um, but yeah that has like helped me a whole lot Um, do you watch Marvel movies? If so, which one's your favorite? Um, I have seen most of them. Um, I like them. They're not like my favorite movies. Uh, but I would have to say the second Captain America movie is my favorite one. I also like Guardians of the Galaxy. The first one. It's good. Thanks for the productive tips. I'm working on trying to make my time money. Yeah, it's hard, like, I don't know, like, finding different streams of income. I feel like that's like the most challenging thing as a freelance artist is like choosing what to spend your time on. Um, yeah. I 
I've learned a whole lot like in this past year like doing this. When you were a child, did you think that you could ever get to this point in your career with so many supporting people? Uh, no, I never, never imagined. I thought that I would, you know, go on and work for a studio or something. Um, but, I mean, I'm not doing that now and I have not done that before. Um, like an in-house kind of thing, but, um, yeah, uh, I didn't even think, like, anything would come out of my Instagram account, because I, I didn't want to make an Instagram when I first started, I was just like, I guess, it's a thing, but I post on Tumblr only, that's what I said, but, yeah, my brother convinced me to start an Instagram, so I did, and I started posting. Is my iPad on the charger? It is connected to my computer, that's how I'm doing the stream. Um, my Procreate uh, document is 8x10 and it is at 400 dpi. I always do at least 300 dpi, just in case it needs to be printed, like either like um, with like me printing it or um, like this is a commission. so. Like, if she wanted to get it printed on a canvas, then she could, and it wouldn't, like, lose any of the quality. Do you use a square brush for details in the hair? Um, I, so, okay, so whenever I was sketching uh, the hair, I used the flat square, um, but I haven't, like, rendered the hair out yet, so um, I will probably use this, uh, the hard round brush, um, Loish's brush. So, um, it's like smooth and flowy and kind of like matches with the rest of it, but I might go on top of it and add texture. It depends. It just depends on how I'm feeling, I guess. Like whenever it gets to that point, um, it's a lot of like, um, 
intuitive stuff that I don't know how to explain. So the last one I did, uh, the last commission I was working on, um, she had dreadlocks and uh, if I did them too smooth, they didn't look like dreadlocks. Um, so I added some texture to them and it completely changed how they looked. So it just kind of depends on um, what kind of happens when you're working on it. Do I ever just go to a coffee shop and draw? Um, I have done that before and I like to do it, but I don't like leaving my dogs at home, so I don't do it that much. Um, I feel like the last time I did do it, I wasn't really like in the zone and I couldn't find a good spot to sit. I was like kind of in the middle of everything and I wanted to be like where the wall was right behind me so nobody would be like, what are you doing? Are you drawing me? Because that's always what happens. So, yeah, I like to be by the wall. Um, I never used to color my doodles, so I have no clue how to color my drawings. Any tips? Um, do you mean like coloring your traditional art or just like digital art? I have a video on like how to color like your sketches and stuff like um, digitally, but like picking color. Um, I think to practice you should look at um, like real life pictures and try to like match that like those colors without color picking um, like doing studies is always a good thing um, I don't know I think the most important thing I learned about color might have been I think it was from a YouTube video I don't know what it's called um, it's been a really long time but like whenever I do make a video about this I'll explain it better but um, so we'll just look at her hair so if I wanted to do a highlight I wouldn't just like go towards white and do this uh, because that'll like make it look flat um, if I want a warmer tone I would like if it's a warm white I would slightly shift it to yellow more like the warmer color and then like saturate it and like go up in value a little bit so it would be more like warm tone um, maybe I went too far but I don't know maybe something like that but you don't want to like you don't like it's like painting like traditionally like with paint you don't want to just add a color or add white to make it lighter you want to add white plus a color so like on here it's like this is your value like up and down 
and this is your saturation. So it's like, you can like play with it this way. This one's saturation, this one's value, and this is hue. So, yeah. Um, and then if like I wanted to add a shadow to this, I usually do like a purple, like a cool color um, for like shadows. I mean, that doesn't look great, but um, like on skin tones, like purple looks really nice. It makes things pop. Um, so eventually I will put purple uh, down there, but not yet because I'm not like to that point. Like I usually do, uh, like with her skin, I would do more of a, um, see I need to desaturate this a little bit and go down in value because it's too bright. Um, but um, I would do more of a color that matches her skin tone, but that's like more saturated and darker for the shadow. Um, and I'm thinking about like the shape of her chin and like the tight, like the, the shape of the shadow it would cast. It wouldn't go down this far, but I'm going to like pull it back up um, a little bit. So it's kind of got like a warm tone to it, but it's still like darker. Um, and then I would go in, let's see, I'm like blending this. Um, let's see, we're gonna go over here. And like when I'm doing cleanup and stuff, like, you know, sometimes it's okay. You go outside the lines a little bit because you can always come back and you just pull that line back on top of it. It's basically like sculpting. Um, it's like kind of the way that I like to think of it. Uh, you don't have to be, you know, super organized. Like starting out, I have like line layer, color, and then I layer on layers on the color, like the base. Um, I guess I can show you. So there's my lines right here. Um, then I have the base for my colors. Then I do clipping masks on top to add the different colors. Um, and then I do the same thing on top of my lines. So it, um, so I can color the lines. And then once that's all like together, I go back on top and like paint. So yeah, that's basically um, how I start out like with the really organized layers and then just kind of like do whatever and just keep adding more layers of paint um and it's more of like a free flowing like workflow so it's not like super uptight um but I always try to make sure like if I'm going to change something drastically I want to make sure I can go back and like undo that without having to just press undo a whole bunch so I like I will copy the layer Basically, that's how it goes. Um, starting at my sketchbook right now, what should I draw for my daily sketch? Um, do you like Animal Crossing? You should draw an Animal Crossing villager. Um, if not, You should draw I don't know, what do you like to draw? Do you like to draw people? Do you like to draw animals? Do you like to draw flowers, objects? Like I don't know what you like to draw. I don't want to tell you to draw something that you don't like. This is you, <laughs> instead of sounding like you. Uh, do I listen to Melanie Martinez? No, I have not heard her music. I know who she is, but um, I, I mean, I don't really listen to the radio at all. Um, I kind of like 
keep listening to the same music over and over again, <laughs> like by the people that I, I already know, so I don't know. I need to uh, look for some more music. I always listen to Taylor Swift and Allie and AJ. Um, like Allie and AJ's new music is so good. I love it. I saw them in concert um, in Tennessee um, in May last year and they were amazing. But I can't wait for their new album to come out this year. They've got like a nice like synth pop kind of vibe and I'm really into it. Um, do you ever have sad boy hours? Like, just randomly think about something sad and want to cry. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I like, I don't know. Sometimes I'm just like, I want to watch a sad movie and I'm just going to cry a lot. It's usually an animated movie. It makes me cry. Um... Or like listening to music, um, some music just like really hits me. Like especially like if I'm listening to like musical stuff and like singing along to it and I get like really into it, it's so emotional. Gotta get into character when you're singing along. <laughs> you don't know how to draw, I got a how well do you know my sister template. What is that? Even though I don't have one, but I took all the info and wrote it and made a character. Oh, that's cool. So it's like you like try to like answer questions on a template, I'm assuming, and um, it helps you make a character. I'm glad uh, the music is like picking, or like YouTube is picking the same kind of music instead of just picking a random thing from something that I would listen to or something I would watch because it would probably be an Animal Crossing video, to be honest. Like a review video or something, not more Animal Crossing music because that doesn't happen. I think here in like 15 minutes I'm gonna wrap up um, the stream. I need to make dinner still. I'm gonna try turkey burgers. Never had those before, but we will see. Also, I need to play Overwatch because. Um, the weekly event thingy is almost over and I don't have my Symmetra skin. So I gotta grind for the win. Didn't work out so well the other day when I was playing.
What country do I live in? I live in the United States. Um, I live, uh, like, I'm on Eastern Standard Time. So EST, it's like the New York time zone. Um, how did I come up with Erica the Goober? Um, actually it was, um, like I used to use the name Peanut Filbert, which was, uh, the two, like two of the squirrel villagers in Animal Crossing. Like you guys, I love Animal Crossing. <laughs> um, yeah, so, um, it was Peanut Filbert and then I was like, nobody knows what this is. I need a different name if I'm going to, uh, do like art stuff on the internet and it was going to be Erica Shea Sketch, I think. Yeah, I think that's what it was because like, um, I was doing photography at the time and it was Erica Shea Photography. So I was like, eh, I can match. And then I was, I, uh, didn't really like love that and uh, um, my boyfriend who's now my husband in high school he used to call me goober so um, I was like Erica the goober okay that's it it'll grow on me <laughs> and that's what it is um, Hi, thank you. Uh, could you tell me how can someone bust his Instagram account to get more commissions? Um, so with commissions, I started doing commissions like a couple of years ago. Like I opened my my first like commission slots, and um, I keep messing up her nose. Um. Sorry, I got distracted trying to work on the nose. Um, so I took my first like batch of commissions like a couple of years ago, and uh, I don't think it really matters like too much, like your follower count or anything. Um, I think um, you should price it based on. Um, like how long it takes you to do the commission. I think that's a good starting point. Like do like a similar drawing and be like, okay, well, how many, um, how many hours did this take me? And what do I want my hourly rate to be? Uh, kind of thing. Um, I wouldn't start out too high at first just to see kind of like the demand, but I also wouldn't price it too low to where you're not, um, like valuing your art um but i would just say like you just have to put it out there um and just see how it goes like make up a little like commission sheet that says like okay um like this kind of portrait like a bust portrait would be you know however much like depending on how long it takes you like if it's like simple if it doesn't take you very long like I don't know maybe 20 I don't know uh, it just depends really on your work and uh, the time that you put into it um, but yeah I would just say go for it like there's not really like a, a trick to start um, doing commissions other than just doing them. Maybe like try reaching out to friends and family first and seeing like um, if they want something done. That'll kind of like get you started and it'll help you like get a feel for um, what it's like to do artwork for other people. Um, Cause it, it takes a lot of communication. To make sure they're getting um, what they're asking for. Like 
making sure like, okay, is this like what you want? Like kind of go in different stages. Um, yeah. Oh, boost. I didn't think it was the right word, but uh, yeah. Um, oh, you're welcome for the tips and advice, of course. I don't mind at all. It's nice to have people to talk to when I'm working on stuff. Uh, what else can I do when um, you start commissions to have more income? Um, you could open a shop, like an online store kind of thing. Um, that's another one. Uh, I think those are like the two best ones to do, like starting out, because um, those are like in your control. You like um, choose to start doing commissions and uh, doing the shop, and it doesn't require like somebody out, like reaching out to you um, beforehand. Um, so, and like even doing uh, conventions, like if you can do that, um, those are good. Just like uh, find out like um, if anything's going on like in your area, so then you don't have to pay for a hotel. Um, I would try to do like if you're gonna do a convention, like do your first one around where you live, so you don't have to. Um, pay for a hotel just in case like you don't um break even or like go in positives because that's like an expense that'll cause you to like um like have to use your profits to um I don't know what I'm saying so like you won't have to use your money that you make from your convention to pay for your hotel but uh um, can you tell me how you choose the skin color? Um, how do you know how to make, uh, how do you know how you make it more colorful? Um, I think you're asking, like, how do you start out with, like, a base and then go from there? Um, I think hers is really, like, I made it too, like, bright. Um, because it's like too contrasted right now and I need to go back and tone it down a little bit because that color right there that I have like as the base it looks like that's what I want my highlight to be so really I just need to go back and kind of tone it down a little bit um, but um, I just kind of I don't know how to explain it. I just kind of like eyeball it and see like what works and like mess around with it until it's something that's like, okay, that looks good. Uh, I know that's not like super helpful, but um, try to pick like a color that's similar to like when you're looking at the reference. Um, try to pick a color that's like similar to the like not in like shadow or highlight just like kind of like a neutral where it's not like super bright because I made her face too bright like before like it was too bright right there but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go pick that color back up go on top of this and like she would have like a, a highlight on her forehead like right there if the lighting is just like simple straight on lighting that's what I would do and then I would probably like add something over here like blend that in so it's got a little bit of a highlight where the cheeks come up here um, but it's not blending like I want it to blend But 
but it takes a lot of like layering and playing around with it to get the right color. It's not like really blending how I want it to right now for some reason. Um, so I'm gonna have to like take a look at that like later after the stream is over. Ugh. But it's okay. I'll fix it and it'll look, it'll look better. Cause I have like it really dark right here and I usually have that kind of come back down here, but I'm gonna have to look at the reference a little bit better and try to get all that to match. Maybe I have the brush. Okay, I think I had the opacity all the way up, so that's why it wasn't blending as nicely. But I'm just gonna have to like um, keep layering the color and stuff on to um, get the the shadows where I want them to be and um, get it to blend nicely. I mean, it's coming along. Uh, it'll take me a little bit more, but um, yeah, it's getting there. Um, I'm gonna answer a few more questions and I'm gonna get out of here um, after I do this to her nose. And then I add some more highlights to her nose. I don't know. See, it looks like so much different. I need to change her ear though. The shape of her ear is different in the photo. I just kind of put that ear on there. She didn't come in like that much. I don't know, I'll figure it out. Um, but let's see, I'm gonna answer a few more questions. Um, oh no. Please don't end the stream. I just, I uh, have to use the bathroom. <laughs> Toilet emoji. Um, oh no, you're fine. Your English is good. Um, with lighting, um, I kind of do some like here, but mainly I like use you know, multiply layer and uh, like overlay for lighting. Um, just to like get different colors right and stuff. That is bothering me. Sometimes I like, I can't help myself. I have to like fix things before I stop. Anyways, um, let's see. Random question. Which way do you prefer to play your Switch? Handheld mode or connected to the TV? The TV, definitely. I played the 3DS for many years, like, especially like Animal Crossing. Played that a lot and I just like to sit on the couch and play with it on the big screen. Um, and I don't go enough places to play it handheld but it is nice to be able to like just pick it up if somebody else wants to like watch something on the TV and then um, just play. So that is a nice feature. Uh, but yeah. If anybody else have any questions, the time to ask is now. I will be ending the stream pretty soon. I think the Nintendo Switch Lite has really pretty colors. I like, actually I like them all. 
I'm not gonna lie. It's like yellow, aqua, and coral right now, I think. I just got the Animal Crossing Switch um, because I could not help myself and I'm gonna sell my old Switch, which I got like day one. I like waited in line at Walmart to get the Switch so I could play Zelda until like six o'clock in the morning. But I mean, it wasn't really a big deal staying up that late because I worked night shift. Actually, no I didn't. Not at that point. I worked night shift for a really long time. Um, but it wasn't hard to like switch back to that schedule for, for that. I did take off work for it. Took a vacation day to get the switch, but um, oh, they have gray too. I forgot. Um, do you like poppy flowers? Yes, I do like poppies. Um, yeah, I did a poppy mermaid last year for mermaid. Um, there were, it was like red and pink, and there were like a bunch of flowers around her and she had like tattoos. Um, I think that's one of the Diamond Art Club pieces too. They have that on there. Um, how do you post more to Instagram? Um, I draw a lot, but posting takes me a long time to post. Um, well, if you have like a lot of drawings, do you mean like, um, like taking pictures of them or do you like, um, are they digital? Yeah, it's on my Instagram. It's like a while back uh, in May. Um, but do you mean like writing the posts or like taking pictures? Um, Cause like for writing the posts, maybe have like sort of a template that you use and maybe save it in your notes. Um, I wouldn't like copy paste it every time because I know Instagram's like kind of weird about like it doesn't want to see your hashtags in the same order for every post because it thinks you are spamming for whatever reason. And you don't want to get shadow banned to where nobody can see your posts. So just be careful about like copying and pasting all your hashtags from your your notes. Oh, also it's good to save drafts on Instagram. I like have a few saved. Um, I was supposed to post today and then I forgot. I think I was streaming earlier and I forgot to post, so I'll have to do it tomorrow. Um, but it's good to like, kind of like build up some posts if it takes you a long time. Um, how can you draw people who really look like the person you are drawing? Um, I think something that really, really helped me is understanding the, um, like the T, I don't know what you call it. Um, it's like the spatial relationship between um, facial features. So um, let's see, I'm gonna look at the picture of her face. And so it's like looking at, so her eyes are right here and her nose stops here. So it's just like how far away is the nose from the eyes? And how far away are the eyes from, well, I guess they're like generally the same distance away from each other, but it's like they could be bigger, so they could look like they're farther away from each other. Um, so that jawline is very important because uh, she has a pointed jaw um, down at the bottom. It like comes to a point um, where it, mine's like more rounded. So. Um, Like you need to observe so um, observe your reference take note of these things like mentally uh, and then like draw them so I see that these lids are like 
coming this way more, like they're slanted that way, and then it's like a smaller bit right here, and then they come down this way. Like just taking note of that kind of stuff, and like her mouth, like the shape of her mouth, um, and like the corners of her mouth. Like you don't have to draw like, you know, if she has like smile lines, you don't have to draw them all the way through, but just kind of like imply them. Um, so I think that really helps, like the, the T thing really helped me. Uh, and just thinking about the relationship of like how high are her eyes compared to her nose and her lips, like how far up are they? Like that helps a lot. Um, uh, let's see. Hmm. Well, I think, um, like, to post more, it'll, it'll just take time. If you're doing all those things, just, um, doing it more will eventually help you get faster at it. Um, I'm gonna try to find that mermaid. Um, I know it's, like, far back, the poppy one. Um, I know it's here. It was one of the last ones I did. I haven't really, like, posted that much this year. Oh, here she is. Here's the poppy mermaid. I have not seen it. I'm trying to get the camera to focus. Come on. Yay, there she is. Poppy mermaid. It was back in, it was May 23rd, 2019. But yeah. You're welcome. All right, well, I think Last call, absolute last call for questions. We're gonna go. I'm gonna go, I gotta make food. I gotta play Overwatch. I gotta try to get rid of this headache because it's still here. Um, but yeah, um, last call. I will wait a minute. Maybe not like a, an actual minute, but like, you know, a minute. Just to see if anybody has anything else they want to ask before I go. Um, how can you make a draw this in your style challenge where a lot of people participate? I only have or one now, but only six people joined it. Um, what time is it in my country? I'll answer that first. Um, it's 7.09 p.m. So I'm on Eastern Standard Time. Um, in the United States, uh, thank you, you liked my poppy mermaid, um, so draw this in your style, I talked about this a little bit earlier in the stream, but, um, you can't really, like, make people, like, join it, so it's best to, like, focus on, um, like, focus on creating a piece that you will be proud of, that you enjoy. Um, so, uh, I mean, if you, if you think about it that way, then, um, like, you'll feel a lot better about it if not as many people join, because you can't really control, like, if people join it. I know right now, like, there are so many Draw This In Your Styles going on, uh, so, People might do other ones instead, but maybe make a draw this in your style at a time that not a lot of people are doing it, um, and maybe more people join because they don't have one to do. I don't know. Um, just focus on, like, making a drawing that you're proud of. That's my best advice, um, for that. Um, I don't add anybody on PSN because, um... I had issues with that before, so that's all I'm going to say about that. I don't add uh, people that I don't know, like, personally. But, yeah, so on that note, thank you guys for watching my stream. Um, maybe tomorrow, maybe not. It depends, because 
Um, I've got a lot of commissions to finish, um, a whole lot, and I want to get them, try to get most of them done before Friday because Animal Crossing, so mine's being delivered to my house. Um, so whenever it gets here, I'm clocking out for the day. Um, but yeah. Bye! <laughs> Bye guys! Talk to you later. Um, and stream. Yes. Goodbye.